The food and agri-tech sector is a $5 trillion global industry that is growing rapidly, fueled by new innovations in processes and products. Our good innovation climate, our strong talent base and reputation for food safety and strategic location position us very well to capture a slice of this industry, particularly here in Asia. Mr. Desmond Chu asked how we are going to develop this industry. Our vision is for Singapore to be a leading urban agriculture and aquaculture technology hub with a food production model that can be exported to the region. To realise this vision, I'm currently leading a multi-agency team looking at how we can better support the agri-tech industry in the areas of industry and enterprise development, R&D, manpower and regulations. This steering committee will work closely with industry players and associations such as the Singapore Agro-Food Enterprises Federation or SAFA to take on board industry feedback. As we grow this nascent sector, we will encounter new challenges that will require us to explore regulatory flexibility and innovative ways of doing things. For example, under SCDF's fire code, farms are regulated in much the same way as factories because production activities such as packaging are allowed on site. <coughs> However, some of the fire code requirements may not be applicable for farming activities, and so they may constrain a farm's operations. Local egg farm choose agriculture, face such difficulties when seeking fire safety approvals for his new farm at New Tew Road. I'm happy to hear that SCDF worked closely with AVA to understand the farm's unique operations and was willing to exercise flexibility in view of the low fire risk and site limitations. We are also helping more of our agri-companies expand into foreign markets. For example, Sustenia, a local startup which specializes in the production of non-native plants, recently launched the first strawberries grown here in Singapore. It has worked with Enterprise Singapore to develop regional marketing capabilities and is expanding its operations to Hong Kong. To catalyze the agri-tech innovation and co-creation among industry players, we need to strengthen our infrastructure support. So I'm pleased to announce that we will establish a new 18-hectare Agri-Food Innovation Park, or AFIP, in Sungai Kadut. AFIP will bring together high-tech farming, R&D activities, including indoor plant factories, insect farms, and animal feed production facilities. We are working with both local and overseas industry players to develop this first phase of the park, which will be ready from the second quarter of 2021, with potential for future expansion depending on demand. Beyond the hardware and the infrastructure, a talent pipeline is crucial to succeed in this endeavour. More Singaporeans, especially younger ones, are showing interest in high-tech urban farming. We're now seeing an emerging new generation of young technopreneur farmers. We agree with Mr. Desmond Chu that interested Singaporeans must be equipped with the specialised and relevant skills to benefit from opportunities in agri-tech. Our Institutes of Higher Learning, or IHLs, have been instrumental in driving these efforts. For example, Republic Polytechnic has launched a diploma in urban agriculture technology early this year. As the sector develops, we expect more of such course offerings from our other IHLs. Minister Heng also mentioned in his budget speech that Tomasic Polytechnic will be launching a centre of innovation in aquaculture. This will pull together resources, intellectual property, infrastructure and expertise from government agencies, IHLs and research institutes, which companies and practitioners can tap on to deepen their capabilities. These developments will support our agri-tech sector in becoming an export industry. Our position as an agri-tech hub will strengthen Singapore's economy, create good jobs for Singaporeans and buttress Singapore's food security. Food is important to us not only as an industry, but it is something that is close to every Singaporean's heart. Even in our communities, interest in urban farming is growing. For instance, City Ponics Farm at Ang Mo Kyo it's a pilot project located in my own constituency in Yochukang, on the rooftop of a multi-storey HDB car park at level 6, block 700, Amokyo Avenue 6. This is the first time 
we are piloting commercial urban farming on an HDB multi-storey car park. And it's another example of how our government agencies like AVA and HDB have exercised regulatory flexibility to support the agri-tech industry. This farm will hire local residents, including the elderly, and provide them with on-the-job training. My elderly residents from Aiwa Senior Community Home are very excited to have the chance to bond with one another by exercising their green fingers and at the same time earn for themselves a source of income. NTUC FairPrice at a nearby Amokyo hub will be one of the first buyers of the farm's produce. Planting has started last month in February 20, uh, 2019 with the first harvest expected in April 2019. So residents can soon look forward to fresh vegetables that are produced by the community, in the community and for the community.